Hello, with the release of the Taxation in Australia journal in a digital format, here is a step-by-step -step guide of accessing and making the most of the journal for Windows users. Firstly, if you do not already have an e-reader installed on your Windows device, you will need to do so to access all of the features. We recommend using Adobe Digital Editions. The web URL to download this can be found in our FAQs section. Once you are on the website, select the Windows version of the free download. Once your e-reader is installed, you can go to our website. This page can be accessed through the menu of the website. We will also send you an email with this direct link when the next issue is available. You can see on this page that you can select past issues which are all in PDF. Issues from May 2019 will be available in both PDF and EPUB format. If you wanted to select the PDF format, you simply select PDF from the drop down menu. Today we will be selecting EPUB. As you can see, this downloads the EPUB to your device. Once downloaded, select the EPUB and it will open through Adobe Digital Editions. I recommend selecting Library and this, will pop, and this pop up will appear. Once copied to Library, you will be able to come back at any stage and pick up where you left off. You can also save notes you have made. You can see on my screen I have a number of issues of the journal. By managing the journal through the library, I can access any article at any time in the future and read any notes I have left. You can also see I, I have an EPUB from Adobe which I can read to learn more about the features of this e-reader. As the reader can be used for e-books, e-magazines and e-journals like this, I can create a bookshelf and move my Taxation in Australia issues to that shelf. By selecting my new Taxation in Australia issue, I can show you some of the reading features that come with the journal. Firstly, you can see up the top left navigation a contents icon. By selecting this, a table of contents drop down appears. You can see that the contents is grouped by cover article, feature articles, insights from the institute and regular columns. If I select the feature articles drop down, I can go directly to the article on practical safe harbours and Australia's transfer pricing rules. I can scroll this article using the arrows at the bottom of the page. As you can see, this article has referenced an ATO page and if I wanted to know more about this, I could simply select the link and it will open this page in my browser. Now that I have finished with this article, I can navigate to another article using the contents drop down. Here I am selecting the member profile, which is one of our regular columns. This month's profile is on our emerging tax star winner, Amanda Kazakos. You can see we have included a video of Amanda accepting her award. To view this video, I simply select it and it will open up in YouTube. There are other ways of searching for the content you want. If you look at the cumulative index, you can see that any reference from this issue of the journal is linked. If I am looking for something on administrative binding advice from the ATO, I can select it and as you can see that section comes up. In the top right hand corner you can see a blank box. That is where the overall search function sits and this allows me to search for specific words or phrases. Secondly, I wanted to show you how you can create settings for your journal that make it easier for you to read. If you are reading through the journal without setting, selecting specific articles, I recommend you close the content section. You can simply reopen this at any time. You can see that on my screen, the words are quite small and the journal is rendering across two columns. To change this setting, select the icon in the top right, which looks like two A's. My text size is selected as medium, but increasing it to large expands the text and the journal renders to one column. Selecting preferences means how you choose to read the journal is entirely up to you. Finally, if you choose, finally, if you have saved the journal to your library, you can highlight, annotate and bookmark. To do this, simply select the text and right click. 
it will give you these options. For this text, I am going to highlight first, add a pop-up note and bookmark. As I read on, if I want to go back to my notes or bookmarked page, I open the contents dropdown and select the middle icon, which shows my bookmark and notes. To access these, I simply select them. For now, that is all I wanted to share with you. I recommend reading the EPUB that comes with Adobe Digital Editions to find out more about it. Look out for the next issue of the Taxation in Australia journal, and I hope this new and exciting version provides a great reading experience.